Hello, Peter. In this lecture, we want to go ahead and we want to cover two important topics. The first one is called as the J curve, and the second one is called as hysteresis effect. In dono hi cheezo ke baare mein, we will go ahead and talk about these. Before I start with J curve, ek baare ke liye hume is net export ki equation ko understand karna hai. So try to understand better. हमें पता है कि जब भी हम नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स की बात करते हैं नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्सपोर्ट्स माइनस इम्पोर्ट्स राइट बेटा नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स इज एक्सपोर्ट्स माइनस इम्पोर्ट्स ना ट्राई टू सी दैट वेन एवर यू इम्पोर्ट समथिंग जब भी आप किसी भी चीज को इम्पोर्ट करते हो यू विल ऑलवेज पे फॉर दो इम्पोर्ट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फॉरन करेंसी आप हमेशा फॉरेन करेंसी के टर्म्स में उसको पे करोगे सो इफ यू आर पेइंग दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ फॉरेन करेंसी आपको जरूरी है कि आप उसको डोमेस्टिक करेंसी में कन्वर्ट करो राइट यू नीड टू गो अहेड एंड यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट दैट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द डोमेस्टिक करेंसी अरे मुझे अगर एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इम्पोर्ट करना है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इम्पोर्ट तो इवन इन फॉर्म ऑफ करेंसी मुझे सेम फॉर्म यूज करना पड़ेगा ना बेटा I will have to say कि ठीक है if I am exporting uh, goods worth rupees थाउजेंड तो imports भी मुझे rupees में लिखने पड़ेंगे right? And if I am writing exports in dollar तो मुझे imports भी dollar में लिखने पड़ेंगे तो I need to make sure that whenever I do export minus import जब भी मैं export minus import करूं I need to make sure that I write them in the same currency मैं उसको same currency में लिखू only then it will make Make more sense to the entire thing, right? So to give you an understanding of this, better try to understand. For example, just I'm. 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 Now, बेटा ये दोनों तो एकदम अलग करेंसी है तो यू कैन नॉट टेल मी दैट मैम नेट एक्सपोर्ट विल बी थाउजेंड माइनस टेन तो गलत हो जाएगा दिस इज गिवन इन रुपीज दिस इज गिवन इन डॉलर सो यू कैन नॉट गो अड एंड यू कैन नॉट जस्ट फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ नेट एक्सपोर्ट लाइक दिस इसको ऐसे ही हम नहीं निकाल सकते हैं राइट सो वॉट विल यू गो अड एंड डू क्या कर सकते हैं हम इस केस में बेटा वी विल फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ The same currency. So I know that the exchange rate is rupees sixty per dollar. So one dollar may we get sixty rupees. We are importing worth ten dollar goods. So ten dollar will mean six hundred rupees. So our jo imports ho jayenge, they will be worth six hundred rupees. And exports are worth thousand rupees. So now this makes sense. Ki I can do rupees thousand. Minus rupees six hundred. That means rupees four hundred. In terms of value, so whenever we need to go ahead and we need to write next net exports. जबे भी हम net exports लिखेंगे, we need to make sure that the net exports are written in the same currency. हम उनको हमेशा same currency में लिखेंगे. Now coming back to this equation, बेटा. तो if you notice here, ये है हमारा real exchange rate. right the real exchange rate formula is nothing but exchange rate into pf by p where exchange rate is domestic currency per foreign currency jaise exchange rate ko humne likh diya rupees 60 per dollar fir usko humne multiply kar diya price of foreign currency and divide kiya price of domestic currency it gives us the real exchange rate so if i were to go ahead and i were to find the net exports I am first converting the import using real exchange rate. मैंने इसको convert किया, and then these are my exports. And export minus import, these will be the net exports of any country. Clear हुई बात? तो try to see that X is representing the foreign demand for our goods. मतलब X represent करता है कि हमारे exports कितने हैं. X is representing our exports. Right, बेटा? क्यों रिप्रेजेंट करता है हमारे इम्पोर्ट्स को दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अवर इम्पोर्ट्स 
एंड बिकॉज वी आर कन्वर्टिंग द इम्पोर्ट हम इम्पोर्ट को कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं इन द सेम करेंसी सो वी आर यूजिंग दिस रियल एक्सचेंज रेट टू कन्वर्ट इम्पोर्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ डोमेस्टिक गुड्स हम सब कुछ एक ही तरीके से लिखना चाहते हैं सो इफ आई वुड हैव मल्टीप्लाइड बेटा अगर मैं इम्पोर्ट को सिर्फ एक्सचेंज रेट से मल्टीप्लाई करती देन दिस वुड हैव बीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पोर्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ डोमेस्टिक करेंसी राइट एंड इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई इम्पोर्ट विथ रियल एक्सचेंज रेट तो बच्चे दिस इज वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पोर्ट क्योंकि रियल है ना तो इन टर्म्स ऑफ डोमेस्टिक गुड्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ डोमेस्टिक गुड्स तो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी आर राइटिंग एवरीथिंग इन द सेम फॉर्म क्योंकि मुझे एक ही तरीके से चाहिए डोमेस्टिक करेंसी और डोमेस्टिक गुड्स में दैट इज वाई आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग द इम्पोर्ट विथ दिस रियल एक्सचेंज रेट क्लियर तो बेटा दिस इज वॉट आई रिटर्न हियर दैट दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पोर्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द डोमेस्टिक गुड्स जब भी हम डोमेस्टिक गुड्स में इम्पोर्ट का वैल्यू निकालेंगे दिस विल बी कॉल्ड एज योर वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पोर्ट ठीक है जी नाउ बेटा लेट एस ट्राई टू गो अड एंड थिंक ऑफ अनेरियो थोड़ा सा समझने की कोशिश करो लेट से दैट द करेंट अकाउंट ऑफ एनी कंट्री इज इन अ डेफिशिट करेंट अकाउंट में डेफिशिट चल रहा है This implies that the exports are less than the imports. So over time, what is my aim? My aim is to increase the exports and decrease the imports. मुझे imports को कम करना है और exports को बढ़ाना है. One way of tackling this problem can be if you can depreciate your currency. तो अगर हम currency को depreciate कर देंगे, if I will depreciate my currency, we have seen in the previous lectures. that whenever depreciation of currency takes place exports increase and imports decrease but beta how do i show depreciation of currency hum kaise reflect karte hai depreciation ko so depreciation of currency is when exchange rate increases to iska matlab ye ho jata hai that in terms of the nominal exchange rate aap kuch aisa likhoge that you are going from rupees 60 per dollar to rupees 70 per dollar इसको हम डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी बोल सकते हैं दिस कैन बी कॉल्ड एज डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी एंड अगर हम रियल एक्सचेंज रेट में लिखें तो रियल एक्सचेंज रेट विल बी एक्सचेंज रेट इन टू पी एफ बाय पी और डेप्रीसिएशन ऑफ करेंसी का मतलब हो जाएगा दैट ईदर ई इंक्रीजेस और योर पी डिक्रीजेस हमें आर को इंक्रीज करना है वेन एवर आर विल इंक्रीज इट विल मीन दैट देयर इज real depreciation of the currency that is taking place right beta so i am saying here ki assume that there is a current account deficit abhi aapka ek current account deficit chal raha hai and you need to go ahead and you need to resolve the problem of current account deficit hame is cheez ko solve karna hai one way of resolving the problem of current account deficit can be that you can go ahead and you can increase the exports and decrease the imports and hum kaise exports ko increase kar sakte hain imports ko decrease by going ahead and depreciating our currency itna baat clear hua so now what i am assuming in this equation is that assume that prices are constant abhi ke liye hum dono the domestic economy and the foreign economy we are assuming that in both the countries the prices are assumed to be constant in both the countries अब बेटा ध्यान से देखने की जरा कोशिश करो इफ आई गो बैक टू माई इक्वेजन जो हमने नेट एक्सपोर्ट का इक्वेजन लिखा था द इक्वेजन ऑफ नेट एक्सपोर्ट वॉज एक्सपोर्ट माइनस रियल एक्सचेंज रेट इन टू इम्पोर्ट राइट तो देर आर टू थिंग्स दैट टेक प्लेस बेटा वन इज कॉल्ड एज द वॉल्यूम इफेक्ट एंड द अदर इज कॉल्ड एज द प्राइस इफेक्ट ठीक है Before I go into the volume and the price effect, we need to understand that ये जो हमारा यहाँ पे R है ना this R that I have here, this R is the is the real exchange rate. इसी R को we can also say relative price of imports. इसको हम क्या बोल सकते हैं This can called as the relative price of imports. So the real exchange rate, which is nothing but E into P F by P, this can be called as the relative price of the Imports. आप समझने की कोशिश करो 
See that I am telling you whenever we want to increase net exports, we want to depreciate our currency. And depreciation of currency means that R will increase. Kya matlab hai depreciation of currency ka? That R should increase. Now, when our R will increase beta, to agar main net exports ko dekhu, it will mean X minus R into M. But if this factor is increasing, agar is factor ko hum increase karte hain, to I will be subtracting more amount from exports. Agar humne is value ko increase kiya, it means that the value of import is actually increasing. And if the value of import is increasing, then my net exports will decrease. Right, beta? Beta, this is called as the price effect. Price effect kya bolta hai? Price effect says that, look, whenever you will depreciate your currency, jabhi bhi aap apni currency ko depreciate karoge, it means that imports will become more expensive. Or kyuki imports or zyada expensive ho jayenge, it will go ahead and it will mean that the value of import will increase. Jitne bhi aap abhi tak imports kar rahe hoge, whatever you would be importing, unki jo ab value hogi, that will go ahead and increase. Better to give you an example, suppose mein aapko bol deti hoon, that I was importing 100 units of chocolates and in ka per unit price jo tha, that was $1. That means because I was importing 100 units of chocolate, my 100 chocolates US se mangwa rahi thi, so I can go ahead and say that 100 into $1, I was importing worth $100 of goods. Right, my hundred dollar ki goods ko import kar rahi thi. Now what I am going ahead and doing in this case is that I am going ahead and I am saying that now assume that there is a depreciation of the currency. So assume that initially your currency was rupees forty per dollar. So, but when you were Asking for hundred dollars of the goods. Jab ab saw dollar ki goods mangwa rahe the, it meant that it would be hundred into forty. That means rupees four thousand. Ab four thousand rupees imports pe kharch kar rahe the. You were spending four thousand on the imports. Now let's say that your currency has depreciated. So when your currency depreciates, your currency becomes rupees fifty per dollar. Still, abhi bhi ab 100 chocolates hi mangwa rahe ho. You are still asking for 100 chocolates. But if you still ask for 100 chocolates, each chocolate is for $1. You are spending $100. But now the exchange rate is rupees 50 per dollar. So, $1 ke liye aapko 50 rupees din hai. You have to give 50 rupees per dollar. So, beta, this will mean 50 into 100. That means it will be rupees 5000. So, aapke jo imports hain, even when you import the same quantity, the value of import will increase. The value of import will increase. Clear hui hai baat? So, this is the first perspective that we have here, beta. That the price effect tells you that because the exchange rate has depreciated, exchange rate ab bad gaya hai. So, when the exchange rate depreciates, the value of imports increases. So, here we have this point aa gaya, that the value of imports increase. But this is called as the price effect. Now, second point. Samjho. Because goods have become expensive. Abhi abhi hume realize ho that chocolates have become expensive. Instead of 4,000, now I am spending 5,000 rupees on chocolates. I have to spend more money on chocolates. Pe. So, because imports have become expensive, what should you be doing? Beta, you should be reducing your imports. Aap apne imports kam kar doge. And at the same time, you should be increasing the exports. Jo foreigner hai, for him, he is getting things at cheaper price. We know that depreciation of currency ka matlab ho gaya, that exports will increase. Right? Earlier when foreigner was spending $1, jab wo $1 kharch karta tha, from India, he was getting 40 rupees worth of goods. 
now when he is spending one dollar from India, he is getting fifty rupees worth of goods. So because he is getting more goods from India, he will increase his demand of goods from India. So the second effect that we are seeing here is that this effect. this exports will increase and this imports will fall but at this part isko hum bol dete hain volume effect this is called as volume effect so ultimately there are two effects which are going simultaneously in this case do alag alag effects hain jo simultaneously apni movement kar rahe hain so i can say that my net exports this can be actually said as export minus import effect number 1 that r is increasing jab r increase hoga to this value will increase when this value will increase to this entire value will decrease so this means that net exports will further decrease matlab your current account will become further in deficit बेटा हमने करंट अकाउंट को डेफिशिट से ही स्टार्ट किया था वी हैड स्टार्टेड एज्यूमिंग दैट एज्यूम दैट द करंट अकाउंट इज डेफिशिट तो दिस मींस दैट द करंट अकाउंट विल बिकम फर्दर इन डेफिशिट तो ये तो हमारा फर्स्ट पॉइंटर हो गया एंड पॉइंट नंबर टू दैट एट द सेम टाइम एक्सपोर्ट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग एंड इम्पोर्ट्स आर फॉलिंग एंड इन दोनों ही चीजों का मतलब ये होगा दैट नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स विल इंक्रीज एंड दिस विल इम्प्रूव द करेंट अकाउंट deficit right current account deficit will reduce it will improve the current account balance so now we go ahead and we see that there are two different effects working in very very different direction the first effect goes ahead and tells that there will be increase in the, uh, the there will be decrease in the net exports isko we are calling as the price effect and the second effect goes ahead and tells that there is going to be an increase in the net exports and isko humne bol diya volume effect now what does the j curve suggest kya suggest karta hai j curve the j curve goes ahead and it suggests that when we go ahead and when we talk about the short run to bachche in the short run the price effect is more than the volume effect to so, kyunki price effect zyada hai aur volume effect kam hai this means that price effect was reducing current account further it was making you go further in deficit and volume effect was making you go upwards to so, basically jo net exports ka decrease hai na that is more than increase in net exports so finally net exports will decrease so the short run effect says that whenever you will depreciate your currency jab bhi aap apni currency ko depreciate karoge the currency depreciation it will lead to your current account further going in deficit it will become further worsened wo further worse off ho jayega in the short run because your price effect it will be more than your volume effect बट लॉन्ग रन में पीपल विल स्टार्ट रियलाइजिंग पीपल विल रियलाइज अरे ये तो बहुत एक्सपेंसिव हो गए हैं इवन वेन आई एम बाइंग द सेम चॉकलेट राइट वेयर इज दैट एग्जाम्पल गॉन सो दिस वन हाँ सो पीपल विल रियलाइज अरे इवन वेन आई एम बाइंग द सेम नंबर ऑफ चॉकलेट वाई एम आई पेइंग सो मच क्यों मैं इतना ज्यादा पे कर रही हूं इट मीन देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इट मीन दैट द एक्सचेंज रेट हैज एप्रिशिएटेड सो इन द लॉन्ग रन पीपल विल रियलाइज दैट देर actually spending a lot of money wo bahut zyada kharcha kar rahe hain apna and when they will realize that they are spending a lot of money so they will start loosening out on the on the goods that they are purchasing from outside so they will stop purchasing so many chocolates from the outside or shayad ab wo sirf 30 ya 40 chocolates hi khareede they will reduce their imports so now what will happen beta so you can clearly see that now this is coming down to 1500 तो वेयर अर्लियर बिफोर करेंसी डेप्रीशिएट डेप्रीसिएशन लोग फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज के गुड्स परचेज कर रहे थे फ्रॉम आउटसाइड नाउ दे आर ओनली परचेजिंग गुड्स वर्थ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड अब वो बाहर से कम खर्च करके मंगवा रहे हैं सो वी कैन क्लियरली नाउ गो अहेड एंड सी 
that the value of imports in the long run has fallen. Or exports to vesi bade the. So imports have fallen, value of import has fallen. Exports are anyways increasing because there is depreciation of currency. So we see that now in the long run, we see that this entire thing goes the reverse. So in the long run, the volume effect, volume means jo imports fall kar rahe and exports increase, kar rahe, that is much more than the price effect. Right, beta? So in the long run, we see that your current account balance improves, right? And your net exports improve. So in the long run, we realize that now the currency has started helping us out. And now our current account balance it is improving. But in order to show this diagrammatically, what we can do is we can go ahead and take a time period T. And what I can do is I can take the current account here. And I can say that initially, shurvat me agar dekha jaye, then my currency is depreciating. So my current account balance worse off hota ja I'm going further negative, negative, negative. But in the long run, my current account balance is improving. Ye mera current account balance improve ho gaya. So in the short run, the current account balance worsens off. But in the long run, the current account improves itself. Right, beta? So, beta, this period, here I can say that the price effect is dominating the volume effect. And if I talk about this part, I can go ahead and say that the volume effect is dominating the price effect. Is that the volume effect and the price effect is Less. I hope everyone is clear with this concept. Sabko ye concept ekdam achche se samajh mein aa gaya hai. Right, beta. Okay. So now what we want to go ahead and we want to do is, uh, so you can just go ahead and read this out. This is exactly what I have tried to explain here. Now, ek bari haan dekho bache, what I am saying, some adjustment may be instantaneous, but most of them take time. So, bohat bari na imports ko Girne, girne mein time lag jata hai. It takes time for people to realize that things have become expensive. So a lot of times, because people take time to react to depreciation, short run mein wo pehle bhi 100 mangwa rahe thai aur 100 hi mangwa te jate hai. So the value of import becomes higher. Like I told you, huh? So rather than spending 4,000 rupees, they start spending 5,000 rupees. Short run mein they don't realize only that they're actually spending more amount. But in long run, they start realizing that even when I am purchasing the same units, things are now expensive. Then they reduce their demand. Then they go ahead and reduce the imports. So in short run, trade balance worsens as price effect exceeds the volume effect. Over time, volume adjusts to relative prices, exports increase, import decrease, and volume effect dominates and trade balances improve. Clear? Okay, better. Now let's talk about the hysteresis effects of overvaluation. Pehle samaj lo, fir hum aage, isko ek bari read out kar lege. Dekho, kabhi kabhi kya hota hai? Hysteresis effect, what does it say? It says that a lot of times, when you will go ahead and you will have appreciation of your currency. To bache, appreciate karoge currency, to kya hoga? What will happen when you will appreciate your currency? Whenever your currency will appreciate, isse kya hota hai na? that your exports decrease and your imports increase. Because appreciation of currency, it will look something like this. Aisa kuch lagega. Ki abhi tak aap rupees 60 per dollar pe the, aur yahan se aap rupees 50 per dollar pe aa gayo. So when you will appreciate your currency, to earlier a foreigner who was spending 1 dollar, he was getting 60 rupees worth of goods. Now, this foreigner, when he will spend $1, he will get 50 rupees of worth of goods. So, he is getting less goods, na? So, he will reduce his imports. Uh, his, uh, he will reduce his imports. We will be able to sell our exports. We will be able to sell less to that person, right? And similarly, at the same time, because for us, 
earlier we used to spend 60 rupees to buy 1 dollar goods from us now we only have to spend 50 rupees to hum apne imports badha denge we have to spend less and we will be able to get the good so the exports will decrease and imports will increase ab iska kya matlab hoga that whatever whatever uh, you know firms are there in your domestic country ye bahut zyada suffer karenge they will start suffering the firms in the domestic country they will start suffering unko bahut zyada loss hona shuru ho jayega because they will not be able to sell their products right and at the same time jo foreign economy ki firms hongi they will be able to sell their products everywhere so now when we realize that okay appreciation of currency has actually led to decreasing exports and increasing imports so now what we will want to do we will want to go ahead and flip this thing thing jo bhi humne abhi apni currency ko appreciate kiya tha hame is currency appreciation ko we need to go ahead and we need to flip this thing hame isko reverse karna hoga so we would want to reverse the appreciation of the currency हाँ माने अगर अभी हम यहाँ पे रुपीज सिक्सटी पर डॉलर से रुपीज फिफ्टी पर डॉलर पे गए थे विच लेड टू इंक्रीजिंग इम्पोर्ट डिक्रीजिंग एक्सपोर्ट सफरिंग ऑफ अवर फॉर्म तो वी विल रिवर्स दिस सिनेरियो हम वापस फिफ्टी से सिक्सटी पे ही चले जाएंगे वी विल गो बैक फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी नाउ द हिस्टेरिस इफेक्ट सजेस्ट कि ऐसा करने से कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला देर विल बी नो बेनिफिट दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग आउट ऑफ दिस सिनेरियो क्यों क्यों कोई फायदा नहीं होने वाला वाई देर विल बी नो इफेक्ट टू दिस वेल दे गो हेड एंड दे सजेस्ट दैट यू नो वेन यू विल ट्राई टू रिवर्स दिस एप्रिसिएशन ना उस टाइम पर लोगों को बाहर के गुड्स की आदत पड़ चुकी होगी बिकॉज दे हैव ऑलरेडी इंक्रीज द इम्पोर्ट्स राइट यू हैव ऑलरेडी इंक्रीज योर इम्पोर्ट्स योर एक्सपोर्ट्स हैव डिक्रीज तो बिकॉज यू हैव डिक्रीज योर एक्सपोर्ट्स द फॉरनर्स नो मोर आर हैबिचुअल टू योर प्रोडक्ट वो आपके प्रोडक्ट नहीं खरीदना चाहते and your internal people they are habitual to the foreign products wo bahar ke hi products kharidna chahte hain so just reversing appreciation it will not help it will not take you back to the situation that you were earlier this is called as hysteresis effect hysteresis effect ye bolta hai that once the currency has appreciated your imports have increased your exports have decreased you have attained a particular situation in the economy where everybody is buying foreign goods then once you will reverse this situation na agar aap is situation ko reverse karne ki koshish karoge nobody will go ahead and buy from you because they are now having a habit of buying from the foreign unko ab aadat pad chuki hai foreign goods ki ab wo foreign ke goods hi khareedna chahte hain to ab is cheez ko kaise resolve kiya jaye kaise hum dekhe ki yaar ye cheez theek ho jaye How will we ensure that we come back to the original position? So his stresses effect suggests करता है that in order to go ahead and resolve this issue, अगर आप चाहते हो कि आप इस issue को resolve करो, तो you need to go ahead and depreciate your currency a little more than where you started from. माने we had started from rupees sixty per dollar. हम sixty per dollar से start किया था. We went to rupees fifty per dollar. So going back to sixty will not help. सिर्फ इतना करोगे तो कोई फायदा नहीं हो पाएगा. You need to maybe go to rupees sixty five per dollar. Over devalue your currency. Only when you will over devaluate your currency. जब आपने करेंसी को over devaluate करोगे, only then it will be useful. सिर्फ तब वो आपके लिए useful रहेगी. Am I making sense in this case? so this is exactly what we have written here such effects are present please read it out beta such effects are present in case of exchange rate when change in exchange rate is later exactly reversed nonetheless uh, you know leaving long term impact on the trade account to humne pehle exchange rate ko rupees 60 per dollar se 50 per dollar kiya fir 50 se wapas 60 kar diya बट इवन वेन वी मेड द एग्जैक्टली सेम चेंज हमने एग्जैक्टली उसी को रिवर्स किया नन दी लेस इट हैज गॉन अड एंड लेफ्ट अ लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट फिर भी एक लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट छूट गया इट हैज लेफ्ट अ लॉन्ग टर्म इम्पैक्ट सो कंसिडर यूएस डॉलर इन नाइनटीन एटीज नाउ इन नाइनटीन एटीज वॉट हैड है 
दैट यूएस हैड बिकम अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंसी यूएस एक बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंसी बन गई थी सो इट वॉज लीडिंग टू एप्रीसिएशन ऑफ द करेंसी यूएस की करेंसी कंटिन्यूसली एप्रीशिएट कर रही थी एंड यूएस फर्म हैड लॉस्ट इन द फॉरन मार्केट वाई बिकॉज जैसे जैसे करेंसी एप्रीशिएट करे जा रही थी द एक्सपोर्ट वर डिक्रीजिंग द इम्पोर्ट वर इंक्रीजिंग एंड द फर्म वर लूजिंग इन द फॉरन मार्केट नाउ क्या बोलता है हिस्टेरिस इफेक्ट दैट वॉट एवर एप्रीसिएशन हैड टेकन प्लेस इफ यू डेप्रीशिएट द करेंसी बैक द ट्रेड पैटर्न विल रिमेन अनचेंज अब आप कुछ नहीं कर सकते हो ट्रेड पैटर्न चेंज हो चुका है Why? Please read it out. Once the foreign firms have become established in US, बाहर के firms ने अपनी market US में बना ली and consumer have become accustomed to their goods. और goods जो US के थे US के जो लोग थे वो बाहर के goods के साथ खुश होना शुरू हो गए Even the reversal of exchange rate. अगर अब आप US की currency को depreciate कर भी देते हो will not be enough to recapture their share of the market. इससे आप मार्केट को रिकैप्चर नहीं कर पाओगे यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गो हेड एंड रिकैप्चर द क्लियर हुई बात दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द हिस्टेरिस इफेक्ट तो प्लीज रीड इट आउट बेटा सिमिलरली रिवर्सिंग एक्सचेंज रेट वोट हेल्प यूएस फर्म रीगेन द फॉरेन मार्केट वो फॉरेन मार्केट वापस नहीं ले पाएंगे टू रिटर्न टू इनिशियल ट्रेड पैटर्न एक्सचेंज रेट रेट हैज टू ओवर शूट इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन मतलब इफ यू हैड गॉन From rupees sixty per dollar to rupees fifty per dollar, so sixty per dollar जाने से कुछ नहीं होने वाला. You will have to go till rupees sixty five per dollar. अगर आप अपनी market को वापस capture करना चाहते हो. Are you understanding it? यहाँ पे Indian rupee is getting appreciated. जैसे India का rupee appreciate हुआ, India will start losing the market. The moment India will start losing the market, लोग US से खरीदना शुरू कर देंगे. अब अगर आप चाहते हो कि लोग आपसे ही खरीदे यूएस से ना खरीदे तो वापस इस एक्सचेंज रेट पे जाना सफिशियंट नहीं रहेगा दिस विल नॉट बी सफिशियंट यू विल हैव टू गो टिल रुपीज सिक्सटी फाइव पर डॉलर आपको थोड़ा और डिप्रिशिएट करना पड़ेगा मार्केट में कंपेटिटिवनेस क्रिएट करने के लिए एंड मार्केट वापस रीगेन करने के लिए सो यू विल हैव टू ओवर इन द ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन making it profitable to incur cost of starting up export operation and competing with the foreign firm clear hai baat but this is called as the hysteresis effect okay beta thank you